Hello everyone, this is Providencia. Welcome to my channel. I don't know if you guys saw my last video which was on the turkey. I hope you guys watched it. But if not, I will leave the link in the description box below. However, in that video I stated about my month for December. It was half busy, it was half me being sick. So I wasn't able to edit these videos on time and I do apologize. I really, really do. However, I still decided to post it up on my YouTube channel and maybe you could do this recipe as well as all the recipes that I made for Thanksgiving when Thanksgiving comes <laughs> this year. I'm so sorry I laugh about it, but you know. You guys could always look at it and reference it and just do it this year when Thanksgiving comes along again. Trust me, this ham is bang game. And I don't even say that because I made it. But I'm really, really serious. My family loves my ham. So with that being said, let's go and start doing this recipe. So the first thing you're going to need is ham. I like to buy the ham with the bones, but it's whatever ham that you choose to buy. And yes, there are two different brands because I have bought one. I saw that it was small and I said, uh-uh, we need to buy another one because I know how my family eats and they're going to want to take leftovers. So I ended up buying another ham in another store. Before I clean my ham, I want to make like a glaze for the ham and this is going to go on top of the ham and when it cooks, OMG. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you're going to need one stick of butter. Please make sure that your fire is low. Make sure that your butter melts. Then I'm going to add the juice of two pineapple slices. It has to be pineapple slices. Doesn't matter what brand it is. You're going to add a cup of brown sugar. I highly recommend brown sugar, not white sugar. Mix it all up. And then you're going to go and pour the juice of this I don't really know how to pronounce that word, <laughs> but you know, the jar with the cherries, let's just say like that, just pour the juice in there. Here we have some maicena, but you could use whatever cornstarch that you have on hand. doesn't have to be that brand. And just add, you know, just at least about a teaspoon. I think a teaspoon will be good. You guys know I eyeball everything. I'm trying my best to give you guys measurements. I have some cinnamon powder. And you're gonna wanna add at least about like maybe a teaspoon of it. Once you added everything, you're going to want to put this on high heat because you want this to thicken up just a little bit. So I'm about to, you know, just rinse out my ham. 
both of them, of course. <laughs> so that's what you're going to see me doing on this clip. To this I'm checking to see if it has a good consistency And to me, this is just right. You don't want it too, too thick. Okay, so the hams are clean. I'm going to go and put one aside because I want you guys to see what I'm going to do here. I know this is common sense, but there's people that really do not know how to do this, you know? And my videos is for beginners, you know? So that's why I like to explain everything in my videos. First, you're gonna wanna do lines going on one side and then you're gonna turn it and do it on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you're looking for like diamond shapes. Try not to cut too deep either. You're just slicing it lightly. See, I turned the ham and now I'm gonna slice again. Just to create that diamond shape that you're looking for. The reason why I am doing this is because I am going to add some cloves. I love to add cloves to my ham. You don't have to add it, but I'm going to be honest with you. The cloves gives it a, like a different taste. I love it. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to add the cloves. Just try to fill it up from like corner to corner if it makes any sense. And as you can see, it's looking like a diamond shape. So that's what you're going to want to do. Even though the step don't really matter, trust me, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> as long as you put it in the slits, that's all that matters. We want that taste in the ham. You're definitely going to need toothpicks. 
and I like to place my pineapple slices starting from the top going down I think it's better that way so yeah you're gonna want to do it like that add your cherry and then you're going to add your toothpick inside the cherry but also it's good to add toothpicks like maybe two or three on the pineapple slice that way when you cook it it doesn't fall out of place especially when you put pineapple slices on the sides you don't want your pineapple to fall so add extra toothpicks So I'm going to do the other hand, but I'm going to do it off camera. And this is the way it looks. But we're not finished yet. Back to this again. <laughs> There was some leftover pineapple and leftover um, juice from the cherry, you know, like all the way at the bottom. So I gathered that up because, you know, you can't let nothing go to waste. I'm sorry. And I added to the mixture. And I added on top of the ham with pineapples and cherries. Now, it's good to do this a day or two before you have any event it doesn't have to be only thanksgiving but whenever you want to make it do this a day or two in advance and just keep it in the refrigerator the next day so i have put this in the oven you guys and i'm sorry you didn't get to see that clip and depending on how big your ham is, is how long you're going to leave it in the oven. You could cook this between one and a half hours to even three, depending on the size of your ham. I like to put it at 320 to 350 degrees. And when you do that, halfway through the cooking process, you're going to want to add some of the juice you want to keep your ham nice and juicy. So it is done. And even though it's done, I still like to add some of that juice right on top. This ham is so good. My kids love it. My family love it. I love it. <laughs> I wish I could make this all the time, but this is sort of like a holiday dish that I always make in my house. I didn't record me cutting it, but just cut it into slices. Put all of the pineapple and the cherries aside. And then, you know, you decorate it in the pan or aluminum tray, whichever way you want. And look at how juicy <laughs> the ham is. Okay. <laughs> now, please do not throw away the juice from the ham. Because once you slice it up and you put it into a pan or an aluminum tray, you're going to want to put it right on top, all that juice. For that way it can stay nice and moist and your family is going to love it. I promise. I will guarantee that they're going to love it. I add my cherries around it and my pineapple. You decorate it the way you want to decorate it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you watch my turkey video, you're going to see the last few clips on a lot of my upcoming videos. Just saying, okay? But this is the dessert section. Yes, yes! No, I didn't bake any pies because I already did enough that day, okay? So I just bought pies from the store and some Cool Whip. I also made a recipe on my Tres Leche and Pastelillo de Guayaba. So be on the lookout for those videos. Those are the only desserts that I did. <laughs> And this is the way all the food look on top of the dinner table. Like I stated in my turkey video, Thanksgiving and Christmas is like the two holidays that I could say I cook a lot. And mind you, I cook a lot because I got a big family. But those are the two holidays that I could tell you that I go in. But I really went in this particular day because it was my husband's first time here from the Dominican Republic in the United States. And I just wanted to celebrate that he was with me. And this is the plate with all the food that I made. Now, it don't look pretty that day I was serving and doing a whole bunch of stuff. But, like I said, there's recipes on everything that you see on this plate. So, I already did the turkey one. You got the ham. I don't know which one is next. But, <laughs> there should be another one coming after this one. But, Anyhow, I really do hope that you guys are enjoying my videos. Also, I want to thank all of my new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. Yes! Please recommend my channel to your friends, your family, your loved one. Even like somebody that don't really know how to cook. Yeah, recommend my channel because my channel is very detailed it's for beginners and it's very slow paced yes because that way you guys could get it and everybody is happy to my old subscribers thank you for continuing watching my videos and giving it a like and even to those that give it a thumbs down hey you know if you don't like it you don't like it i can't put a you know i, I can't force you to like it but it is what it is but I hope you guys have a lovely day. Please keep warm because, honey, this weather is crazy. Like, right now, as I'm doing this video, it's 3 degrees in Connecticut. I'm like, what the hell? I don't want to go outside. No. <laughs> no way. I don't know what's going on, but shoot. <laughs> Please keep warm, you guys. So take care. God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Anyway, you go